The motivations behind the man accused in the plot to kidnap Governor Whitmer go beyond anger over the COVID-19 orders. According to the FBI, it was also about deep mistrust of government and law enforcement. Mara McDonald live downtown. Tonight, Mara, we know more about the FBI informant who turned them in. Well, Devin, we sure do. We know he was from Flint. He was a postal worker, a veteran, and that he was invited into this group. He saw what was being said, and he's the one who called police. An FBI agent testified that informant wanted out of the Wolverine Watchmen, but was prevailed upon to stay in and infiltrate the group after he initially called his local police department. He just wanted to notify us about the Wolverine Watchmen and tell us that the group was a danger to law enforcement. To that informant, this went beyond just ranting. He told police members were tracking police officers' addresses with plans to kill them. All this revealed at the preliminary hearing for three of the 14 men accused in the Whitmer kidnap plot. Paul Beller, Joe Morrison, and Pete Musico facing charges they supplied materials to support terrorist acts. While the group is accused of plotting against Whitmer allegedly angry over her COVID-19 orders, their ideology went deeper. The FBI says they are an anti-government militia group and believers in the Boogaloo movement, which is trying to incite a second civil war. The FBI says the group trained on Musico's property in Munich, which was booby-trapped. He had propane canisters set up throughout the property so that he could shoot them and act as IEDs if law enforcement approached. And that was just the start, according to the state AG's office, of the scheming and plotting, which included their attendance at an April 30th protest in Lansing, where they talked about, on a wire, what it would take to storm the Capitol building and grab the governor. But before that protest, the FBI had already tipped the governor's security detail off about the group's alleged machinations, all thanks to that informant who clued them in early on. Back here live so far, what we've heard from our prosecutors who are setting up the case in this preliminary exam as to why these three should be bound over for trial. The expectation is tomorrow the defense attorneys are going to start and likely say, look, was there a lot of talk? Sure, but there wasn't a lot of action. We're live downtown tonight. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. What stories we keep learning more. All right, Mara.